All right, we got some exciting news making me uh, completely invalidate my statement in my last video where I said that I wouldn't be uploading any videos. I am still traveling today, but uh, we got Yamato, EX Yamato. I'm not surprised that she's an EX. What I'm surprised about is that she's coming in two days on the 20th. That's <laughs> very interesting since we were expecting her and Kaido to come on EX, which is in January or February, uh, late, uh, late, late January or early February. So uh, it's very surprising that they're dropping her this early, but uh, let's go over her and her skills because we have a rough translation of her traits and her skills. So skill one, you have Thunder Bagua. This is not a uh, not a surprise. We that was one of the leaked skills in the leaks in the OPBR Discord. So you begin by charging by holding down the skill button. If you let go of the skill button before the ch the charge has completed, the charge will cancel and you will attack normally. If the charge has finished, you unleash a different attack and then you nullify stagger for a set period of time. So this is very, uh, pretty different from uh, regular Kaido's Thunder Bagua. Uh, in this case, you're going to have a different attack depending on what, how long you hold it for. So that's going to be interesting to see. So not charge is a long range area uh, charge attack and it increases your damage dealt when your HP is below a certain amount, which is pretty interesting. Uh, charged is you increase your own attack, a uh, long range charge attack with a knockback effect so that's gonna have knockback when you charge it and then you increase damage dealt again when your HP is below a certain amount. Skill 2 is a counter I will protect you. If enemy attacks within a certain period of time increases own defense a long range area attack with a knockback so she has two knockbacks that's not gonna be good for kid but something else is gonna be very good for kid uh, you guys have seen a second when counter quick fails if the enemy does not attack with a set within a set period of time you deal a long range range area attack increases damage dealt when your hp is below a certain amount and then you become invincible right after you use so it looks like if the enemy attacks you before then uh, they won't get hit so our character traits while you're capturing treasure one hp will be left even if killed by enemy while you're capturing treasure you resist dagger and being down so this is pretty similar to odin um, I guess that makes sense since uh, Yamato says she's Odin in the anime and manga. Uh, for a set period of time after using skill 1, change it down to a stagger effect and nullify status effects inflicted by enemy. Oh no. Okay, so she's going to be good against the Kainu. That looks ni that's nice for her. Uh, when your strength is more than 70%, you boost gas speed by 50%. Um, when receiving percent damage, this is what I was talking about before. Odin Kid, Odin Luffy, Kainu. It's over. Uh, <laughs> Including from status effects from an enemy, recover HP by 6%. So when you take percent damage, you're going to be healing it right back up. So, oh no. Um, when your team has more treasure secured, boost the cooldown reduction speed of skill 2 by 50% and increase damage dealt by 30%. And trait 2, after receiving damage from an enemy which is more than 50% of your HP, reduces damage received by 30%. When your strength is more than 70%, reduce damage received by 30%, and reduce it. So, oh my goodness, she's what is she? And reduce damage received by attack from attack hook by 20%. She's like a hybrid defender and runner. When you capture the treasure, recover HP by 30%, and reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 20%. Wow, she's <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, yeah, she's she seems pretty great. I'm not gonna judge too early based just based off this. I'm gonna wait until she's in the game, which is in two days, by the way. Um, but as of right now, I think Frankie is now the undistributed number one defender in the game because one, Frankie's a blue defender. Two, he counters runners. Three, he has a knockback skill to get uh, Yamato off her treasure. And four, Kid and Luffy no longer can use present damage to destroy her. So that pretty much nerfs Kid very badly and buffs uh, Frankie pretty well. But uh, we'll see how this goes on when uh, she drops. Um, but yeah, that's all I had to say. Can't wait to see how much she costs. Hopefully they don't increase the price too much. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys are summoning or not. Let me know how your summons go. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.